Hey guys, we made it to Radcliffe Campground. It's super windy, but it's absolutely beautiful. Let me have a look if I can show you. There we go. Bye -bye. Super windy. But yeah, campground really close to the beach. Beautiful spot. And apparently, when the sun sets, you have heaps of kangaroos jumping around everywhere. Squid, the barbecue. Our favorite. It's surrounded by kangaroos. up pretty early, still a bit tired, <laughs> but we're gonna watch the sunrise. Um, a little surf, surf check, but uh, that's uh, quite cool that it's that surf check. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen, but we... Oh, there's... there's, there's uh, We're gonna walk around the scam ground. There are like 89 spots, so we just want to check them all out. We stay at campsite 42 over there, which has beach access and is also next to this little road. I have the sub on my back <laughs> because there are campsites next to uh, the river, so we're gonna launch the sub there. But we also want to have a look at the other campsites, what they look like. I think I fell in love with the tent sites. <laughs> Look how beautiful! There are also toilets right over there. The river is here and the beach is just there. What a spot! How's my private mule going? So happy! <laughs> oh, the kangaroos are over there! Hi. Hey buddies! Hi. Oh, they're all jumping! So many. Oh. Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Is this your morning workout? It is. <laughs> it better be worth it. Calling out, out, it's all you trust Right now, how you jump How did you go? Uh, it was fun, but it's very shallow and it's full of rocks So only go in when you're confident And if you see the rocks, go on the knees <laughs> Go on your knees, go on the knees I like that, on the knees <laughs> You'll hurt yourself <laughs> Calling out, out, can you light the spark? To come out, out of the dark. So that was Lake Aragon and Redcliffe Campground. Yeah. 
which is actually a fun campground. If you only have a two-wheel drive and not a four-wheel drive, and you want to have a beach close, sit between kangaroos, um, go for a sub, there's a lake, yeah, and go fishing, then this is definitely an amazing cam, uh, campground. Yeah. So I highly recommend that one. Absolutely. Where are we going next? So we'll, uh, this, we decided to stay a little bit longer in the National Park called Euragir. Euragir. <laughs> I really don't know how to say it. But um, we'll do a little stop on our way uh, there because we'll stay at Sandon River Campground and we'll check out Broomset first. Cool. Let's go. So we'll be making one little stop uh, close to Broomset. Yep. And what is it? The tree of the tree of life. Tree of life. And apparently it's amazing from the sky. So we'll be flying the drone in a few minutes. <laughs> 24 it is! fun that was fun location beautiful yeah location was epic yeah, surrounded by water the river mouth uh, like another river apparently it's the clearest water in Australia the river mouth really That's what that local guy said mm -hmm. if they want to take an example of a river mouth they always come here to do measurements and all that yeah. the water was really it was really amazing really clear. Clear. and we saw whales again we surfed um, in terms of the campground I wasn't that excited. Um, uh, it was quite small and like, very close to your neighbor. <laughs> yeah, very close and there are only limited spots and it's a small camping ground so that's probably the reason. Yeah, but um, very clean toilets. Yeah, very clean toilets. Um, 
and everyone was friendly. So uh, yeah, it's, it's all about the location, I would yes, say. Location was just. We're now on our way to Tabley Beach Campground. Uh, it's four wheel drive only, and there are two ways to get there. And one way is? It's a creek crossing, <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're already too late. I think that it's too high. Yeah. So we're gonna take a safe way to get there, and then tomorrow when we drive back, we're gonna give it a go. Yeah, we're gonna check it out and see if it's doable. Uh, but I reckon it's fine. I saw some photos, it should be okay. So good news, we can do the creek crossing. Yay! You reckon we can trust those people? Yeah. They're the park rangers. <laughs> really? Yeah! Oh. Didn't you see the little van? No, I just saw for sale on the van. Oh my god, it's yeah. a campground. It's still in four-wheel drive high. Oh no! <laughs> Idiot! Uh, so yeah, we just did a four-wheel drive high. Alright. And now I'm going to... How are we doing this? Uh, so you have to go... Where is it? Yeah. I see all the tracks. There is the ramp. Right. I am going to low first. Yeah. Fucking uh, idiot, eh? Yes, you'll tell me. Them over there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, it's gonna be peanuts. Oh. But I will. I do want to get out and film yeah. it for you. Yeah. Oh, total fire damage. 
Beverly Beach. Yes. So European, a Greek salad, fresh tzatziki, fresh tzatziki. and some uh, chicken on the barbie. Clean toilets. The toilets come a little local. A red belly black snake. Look at him. Minding his own business. So going to the toilet real quick. And then you look up. And then you see that. Look at that one. Sleeping right above the toilets. Fun, real fun. So this is Pebbly Beach Campground. It's a really beautiful spot. Like even though there's 73 campsites. Yeah, 73, but it absolutely doesn't feel like 73. No. And it feels really remote, probably because that river crossing. Uh, yeah. It's not for everyone. It's four wheel drive only. So it feels really remote. Yeah. And we just spent the day just doing a little nap, hanging in, in the hammock. In the hammock. <laughs> just went for a walk. And uh, there are actually a few rock pools. Uh, just at that point break um, and it's pretty cool just chilling in the rock pools going yeah. for a swim and Pulling now off. we're making uh, dinner yeah what are we making bruschettas to start with bruschettas <laughs> to start with and now we'll cook a steak with some pasta garlic so we'll aiolio aiolio <laughs> that's the real name cool <laughs> So we just finished our morning workout, we'll have some breakfast now and after that we'll start packing up and I reckon that's a wrap for Eurogear National Park. I reckon it was a good one. Yeah. Hope you feel about these cards Come to Pebbly Beach and you want to have a private campsite, it's number 31. 31 was a good one. Yep. It would be true. 
uh, we had a bigger sort of shared zone. It's still very good because it's all beach access. Uh, and amazing neighbors. Yeah, and amazing neighbors. Very good. Lovely. And uh, we had toilets right behind us. With the local pipe. Yeah, with some local snacks. <laughs> Of me. No way. Oh. I'm going on the wrong side. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you filming? Yes. Cool. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> I had to crawl. <laughs> That's a wrap for Ure Gear National Park. I hope I pronounce it pretty okay -ish. I can't do that. No. <laughs> and um, I reckon we liked it, no? Yeah, it was pretty good. I think Pebbly Beach now was our absolute favorite. Uh, we didn't get the chance to do everything we wanted to do there. Just on high tide, you can go supping or kayaking at the Station Lounge. Creek. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done that. We decided to have a wine and have some snacks. <laughs> Have a steak, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Oh my god, and that man is naked. <laughs> no way, we actually. Oh have my god, they are naked. Dear lord. <laughs> we got that on video. <laughs> I saw a dick. <laughs> I saw titties. Oh. Um, oh dear. But yeah, cool campgrounds. Um, <laughs> there are actually a lot of campgrounds, how many? More than 70. Uh, yeah. 73 or something. Toilets, clean toilets, a couple of snacks, you have to deal with the snacks. Um, but it's a good spot. Very good.